leave, the council won't help. Come on, Kira. If Thessia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you could be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Brokers ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Meeting with the Council didn't go too well, huh? It was less than ideal. Now I'm shocked. At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. I'm flattered, I think. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. We can figure out what it does later. Our priority is getting it built. Just give me some warning before you flip the switch. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt, 
I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard. It's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? I'd like that more than anything, Liara. Good. I was getting worried. There were a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list. But later? There's so much left to do. I'm working with Edie. Hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? is available on the private messages terminal. Hello there, Commander. How are you settling in, Doctor? Good. I've been busy restocking supplies and running diagnostics. It's nice working alone in a fresh lab. I get to set up everything just the way I want. Anyway, now that you're here, I'd like to examine you. It doesn't hurt to be safe. It won't hurt, will it? No, no, nothing invasive. I just need to run some implant diagnostics and take readings of your immune system. It looks like your implants have a synthetic protein overlay that's allowed your body to integrate them quite nicely. Must be from the procedure I had done to help heal my scarring. Must be. I bet that wasn't cheap. Thank you for indulging me. Everything looks fine. May I help you at all? Just let me know if you need anything. I will. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy, or... Maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacted. Asked me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. You can make up for it on this tour of duty. Yes, sir. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Your story is Cerberus. They're a clear and present danger to everything we try to do. Alien audiences will hate them. Hmm. So they're traitors to Earth and the galaxy. I wouldn't have to torque it much. And you do have an inside track on Cerberus. All right, you feed me your info, and I'll keep biting. Hey, Commander. 
You know, I had my doubts about the council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. We're in the middle of a war, Specialist. We've got bigger problems than finding a toothbrush. Understood, Commander. And to be clear, I'm happy to be here. If I can help with the comm system and get you the intel you need to win this war, I'll have done more than I ever did in the lab. Was there anything else? Carry on, Specialist. <laughs> 